So, Jeffrey Epstein, the 66-year-old billionaire and a registered sex offender whose road to wealth and success is shrouded in mystery, was arrested on July the 6th, 2019 for soliciting underage girls for prostitution. And after a decade of rumours, accusations, lawsuits, dozens of victims coming out with their stories against him and many out-of-court settlements, which left him a free man, the US prosecution believes that they finally built a strong case against him. However, with so many high-level clients and previous cover-ups, I have my doubts. I'm the OBG. Jeffrey Epstein had several jobs before becoming a financier, from a tax strategist to wealthy clients in an investment bank named Bear Stearns, surrounded in controversy, to a consultant job for Tower Financial Corporation, reportedly making $25,000 a month. His first company was a consulting company named International Assets Incorporated, and in 1987, he founded a new financial ma management company named J. Epstein & Co., with managing the capital of wealthy clients with no less than $1 billion US dollars net worth as a company's main activity. Epstein kept and still keeps his company under the radar, and there isn't much information which has come to the fore regarding how the company works, who the clients are, and so on. However, uh, Leslie... Wexner, the CEO and chairman of L Brands, who own Victoria's Secrets, is one of Epstein's clients, and that much is public knowledge. Jeffrey owns a house in the Upper East Side, Manhattan, which is allegedly the largest one in Manhattan, measuring an impressive 21,000 square feet. He owns a ranch near New Mexico, a flat in Paris, a residence in Palm Beach, Florida, and a private island named Little St. James on the Virgin Island of USA, which became known for the uh, to the public for the salacious parties that Epstein threw there, including the sex trafficking and underage girls he was actually charged with. So the accusations against Jeffrey Epstein began in March 2005 when a woman told the Palm Beach authorities um, that a uh, woman had reportedly took her 14-year-old daughter to Epstein's manor to give him a massage and to strip for him, after which the underage girl was reportedly paid $300. Soon afterwards, the police and FBI started an 11-month undercover investigation. They found and talked to five reputed victims and 17 witnesses. And the evidence they've collected suggested that Epstein paid for sex several times and there were some indications that some of the girls were actually underage. And they also came across hidden cameras and photos of many girls in the mansion. And some 2006 reports allegedly show that the purpose of the hidden cameras throughout Epstein's mansion was to capture clients performing sexual acts with minor girls and using them for blackmailing purposes. And because of his close relationships with prominent politicians and of power. Some even believe that Epstein is a secret state agent sponsored to blackmail and to use wealthy people. According to the evidence and the probable cause affidavit that the Palm Beach police filed, Epstein was about to be charged with four counts for sex with underage girls as well as a molestation count. However, the jury eventually only charged him with just one offence soliciting for prostitution, but Epstein pleaded not guilty in 2006 to this charge. And it was Alexander Acosta, another key player, who was at the time the attorney for the Southern District of Florida and is now Trump's Labour Secretary, who made a secret plea deal and granted Epstein immunity for all the federal charges. Acosta stated that he was allegedly instructed to do so because Epstein was part of the intelligence which closed the investigation and that's another clue that suggests that Epstein worked as a state agent blackmailing people. So instead, in 2008, Jeffrey Epstein pleaded guilty to one prostitution charge and was sentenced to prison for a duration of 18 months. And to further add to the controversy and the privileged deal that Epstein received, he had his own private wing in the Palm Beach County Jail with his own security, unlike most of the Florida sex offenders who are usually put in the state prison, and he was allowed to go to his office for up to 12 hours, six days per week, and to fly with his jet to his mansions in the Virgin Islands and Manhattan. After 30 months of prison, he was released on probation and registered as a sex offender, which I highly doubt is of any bother to him. Anyway, since his initial scandal, uh, the initial scandal, dozens of other alleged victims came forward. Some accusers' uh, stories were similar to that of 2005, minor girls being lured to his mansion under false pretext to give him massages, after which he made them have sex with him. And according to some court files, Epstein was organising sexual intercourse with minor girls, not only for himself, but for renowned figures too. Amongst these figures was allegedly one of Epstein's attorneys, a professor at Harvard named Alan Dershowitz, and Another shady character who was also part of a federal civil suit. However, all the lawsuits were settled out of court. 
In 2015, a woman named Virginia Roberts filed a sworn affidavit claiming that when she was 17, Epstein solicited her for prostitution. Her statement also involves Epstein's former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, who is actually the daughter of former print media tycoon Robert Maxwell. Uh, according to Roberts and other witnesses, she was his madam, responsible for acquiring mostly underage girls for sex trafficking purposes. Roberts continued her report, stating that Epstein and Maxwell made her do what they wanted, that they were basically training her for sex almost every day. She went on to say that not only did she uh, have to do uh, have sex with Epstein himself, but she was also included in many of the orgies that happened during his infamous parties on his private secluded island, which, as she described it, was perfect for doing things that they didn't want anyone to find out about. Furthermore, Virginia claimed that she had sex with Epstein's attorney, Dershowitz, when she was still a minor, and allegedly with Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and uh, including one orgy which has been denied by Buckingham Palace. After her affidavit, Alan Dershowitz filed a lawsuit against her, and Epstein dealt with this out of court and settled with Virginia. Are we starting to see a pattern here? <laughs> so the rich and the elite seem to be able to buy their way out of the laws that we have to abide by. And anyway, around a year later, another woman stood up, this time accusing Epstein and US President Donald Trump that when she was 13, both men had sex with her in one of Epstein's parties. And after the federal judge dismissed the lawsuit because the claims were invalid, according to the federal law, the woman filed two more lawsuits. But both allegedly included anonymous witnesses, even though a plaintiff was to appear in a press conference around a week before the elections in 2016, they cancelled unexpectedly. And according to the plaintiff's attorney Lisa Bloom she had been threatened. Epstein didn't comment on the accusations and Trump's lawyer Alan Garton denied them. So in an interview held in 2002 with New York Magazine, Trump reportedly refers to Epstein as a really great guy and that both him and Epstein enjoy the company of beautiful women, often younger ones. Trump talks differently about Epstein today however, stating in one interview that he never liked him in the first place, he's clearly attempting to distance himself. So on the 6th of July 2019, the police arrested Jeffrey Epstein at the Teterboro Airport in New Jersey for prostitution. After searching his New York mansion, the FBI reportedly found thousands of photos of nude or partially nude young women, which, uh, and some of which were underage girls. And furthermore, in his safe, they discovered CDs labelled Young, then the name, surname, and then Girls Picks Nude. They found diamonds, cash, and a 1980s fake passport with Epstein's image, but a different name registered in Saudi Arabia. According to a statement one of his lawyers made, Epstein was ready to pay $100 million for his bail and he had his team of attorneys fight to secure him a home custody and monitoring. This furthermore enraged the public, finally causing two more victims to step forward at court and try to convince Judge Richard Berman to not allow him bail. And one of them, a woman named Courtney Wilde, claimed that at the age of 14 she was molested by Epstein and the other woman named Annie Farmer claimed that she was 16 when she first met him and that it was inappropriate with her but refused to go into details. Some court documents say that allegedly there were more than 40 minor girls and that he was lending them to his rich friends in his mansion. Epstein's arrest has caused quite a storm in the public and across all media. And over the last decade, victims have been trying to put him behind bars, accusing him of sex trafficking and paedophilia. However, his wealth, connections to powerful people and potential blackmailing material has kept him a free man. And now that the FBI has, FBI has reportedly collected enough evidence that allegedly proved Epstein really committed the crimes he's been charged for, the prosecution finally believes they can bring some just, justice to many of the victims of his illegal acts. I believe Epstein is a key figure and a stooge to a powerful group of handlers. He loves attention and is easily manipulated due to his ego. And he was one of the lesser educated and wealthy young Jewish men and was a perfect person to mould into play in the go-between for the Jewish cabal that control him. I'm still unsure if his connections are the powerful Jewish Americans or the direct Israeli-linked Mossad agents. Blackmail has always been a prime method of controlling the rich and wealthy, whether state-sponsored by domestic or foreign players. So the question remains, will Epstein go to jail or will he likely do the two shots to the head suicide? It remains to be seen. I'm the OBG. OBG. Mm -hmm.